didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you. I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just posted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! <laughs> I didn't even mention that guy as a possible suspect when I was doing my um, pre-session recap. Okay. That was one of uh, Lieutenant Sean Lake's Lawson's suspects. Should like to speak with you. Lieutenant Blake doesn't seem particularly interested in finding the truth. He just seems like uh, he wants to find a scapegoat. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. Oh my god. It was something. Now Ethan's wife is going to make the police worry that um, Ethan did it because she knows about his blackouts. feeling that uh, this guy was going to be questioned and uh, he was going to tell the uh, police different things depending on what you told him. I beg your pardon. I am bound by an oath of secrecy. I know that Lieutenant Blake is ready to believe anything at this point because he just wants to find a suspect. So um, he's totally like ready to uh, embrace the conclusion that Ethan Mars is the killer. Reason Trink. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Now I must ask you to leave. Now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate for your own sake. Yes. Help. Doctor, a child's life's at stake. You may know something that can help us save it. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Let's call him Blake. Blake, that's not. Let's get out of here. I'm going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. I don't want uh, Ethan to get caught. Doctor, you are really pushing my funds. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're going to give a voice to him, but I want to know what I'm really going to lose. Order, Blake. What the fuck was that, Blake? There was like nothing I could do. There was no option to save the shrink. Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. You have no right to hit him. I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. If you don't like it, leave. If I were in this investigation, I would have stopped Blake a lot earlier than that. I'll get you for this, Jane. Don't worry. I will not forget. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. Feels responsible for his death. Sort of morbid neurosis. <laughs> he is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, Drowning bodies? I found this on the floor. He must have fallen out of his pocket. Ethan Mars is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. That's the first thing I've heard of that. 
Is this shrink just making stuff up in order to uh, frame Ethan? It's horrible if that's actually true. Oh my god. So now they, uh, they questioned the shrink and they found an origami figure. And I tried to prevent them from finding anything. Now we're back with Jaden. Good cop is for uh, stopping Blake from completely murdering the family. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. Yeah, I knew that Blake was going to take that theory hook, line, and sinker and just uh, completely run with it, all barrels firing. That was a short scene, and now where's Shelby? It's Thursday already, oh shit. Thursday morning, 7 a.m. The sun is still low in the sky. Where are we going now? The most exclusive golf club in town. Strange place for you. I kept Lauren in the dark for this one. I'll pick her up from her place later on. Yeah, he didn't bring Lauren around. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. It's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to interview both of me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. I have no idea who this guy is. Here we go. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. I gotcha. R1 is just to plant your feet. L1, both hands. This is going to be that swing. Down. Down. I'm doing it. I, I throttled the controller down. <clears throat> and it just didn't work. R <clears throat> R1, L1, back swing, down. Maybe my controller is a little worn out. Impressive. You seem to have a knack for it. That would be good as luck. Uh, Mr. Kramer, this is uh, the father of Gordy Kramer. 